What? Hi. <laughs> I think it's 12-12 still. I think we might be upright. Are we upright? Are we upright? Oh, yeah. Hi. How you doing? I am doing very well, thanks. As usual, I'm here to check in a little bit with my body, do a little stretching and strengthening, wrestle with the camera and the lighting, and it's most of the camera stand that I'm having it out with. It's a good time to remind you about this dusty thing. Oh, it's easier to read this way, isn't it? Ooh, fancy. And I'm still silly. I'm still here checking in with myself. I'm still doing the best I can with what I got from where I am. Still living in my musical life. And once again, here to let go of some stress. Do what I can with some crappy lighting and invite you to join me if you feel like it to whatever degree feels good in your body. Let's uh, do a little breathing, a little smiling, a little letting go, a little moving of lamps and whatnot, shall we? I'm going to start off with just a little free arm a swinging. I'll remind you there's not one right way and not one wrong way to check in with yourself. I encourage you to do what feels good in your body. Listen to your own body. Love yourself a little bit more because you are worth it. And also, love is contagious. You can find these t-shirts over in Angel's t-shirt shop, by the way, on Teespring. Let's do a little rolling down. I'm going to bring my attention into the bottoms of my feet, inside my shiny moon boots. <laughs> Damn it, lighting. It's just not cooperating much, is it? Let's see if that helps at all. Mm, not really. All right, we're going to roll down. Uh, bend in the knees if need be to get the hands on the ground and just... Doing that a couple times. <sighs> relaxing the belly, relaxing the back. Hanging here in the forward fold. And then I'm going to roll up, pushing from the bottoms of those feet. I'm lifting the arms, lifting the eyes, pushing the hips forward. Coming into a counter stretch. <sighs> And then back to center, making sure not to lock those knees. And this time I'm going to swan dive down with a relatively flat back. Coming down again into a forward fold and again, bending the knees a little bit to get the hands on the ground. Oh, relaxing the belly, relaxing the back. Just spending a couple breaths here, letting gravity do some unwinding. And again, I'm going to bend the knees, swing the arms back, lift the eyes, arms, and chest, pushing the hips forward, and coming into that counter stretch. And then releasing all of that. Shake that out. Let's do one more forward fold. I'm going to roll down again this time. Nice and slow, just noticing where there's suppleness, where there's stickiness. How's the spine doing today? Ooh, it's doing all right, it's doing all right. Hanging from the hips, that's below the waist. Let's check in with the waist just for contrast. I'm going to give myself a hug, pulling back in the waist, up in the pelvic floor, left elbow over right, and give myself a nice hug, pulling these shoulder blades apart, really rounding from the waist now, tucking the tailbone under, tucking the chin toward the chest, giving these shoulders a nice squeeze if possible, the arms, 
just enjoying that opening, rounding, contrasted with the contracting, rounding. And then deep breath in and release all that. Ah, from the hips again. So again, that's past the waist to the hips. Hanging here, I'm gonna let go of the neck and shoulders. And then I'm gonna draw all that up this time right elbow over left and again pulling up in the pelvic floor back in the abdomen or waist and pulling these shoulders shoulder blades apart maybe give that neck a little squeeze oh got a nice big knot in there give that just a little extra attention Shoulders and arms a little rub and just letting those unwind for a breath or so. Really pushing into that roundedness, pulling in the tailbone, pulling in the neck and pushing out through the shoulders. Stretching across the back of the back. Rounding through the spine. And then deep breath in, and then uh, releasing all of that. Hanging here again from the hips, letting go in the neck and shoulders. And then I'm gonna bend the knees, swing the arms up and back, pushing the hips forward. And coming back to center. Shake that out, swing those arms around. Let's do just a little bit of free arm swinging. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and step back with the left foot, suggest the britches, keeping the feet relatively parallel. <laughs> Try not to fall over. Remember to tuck and roll if you do fall over. I don't know why the lighting is being so uncooperative, but checking that this front knee isn't crunching past the front toes, adjusting that back foot, pushing into that back heel, pulling the back hip forward and forward hip back, looking for a relatively perpendicular line with the hips, tucking that tailbone under a little bit, for a nice long and strong line through the core, supported with the abdomen and the back. Let's give those a nice little tap, tap, tap. Ooh, yeah, I got some tension to dislodge in there. Today, shake out those shoulders a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep coming on down, both hands on either side of this front foot, coming onto that back toe off the heel as need be and bringing both hands down on either side of that front leg and then straightening that front leg still pulling that back hip forward and forward hip back straightening that front leg as much as possible and pushing again into that back heel draping the upper body over the lower body in my chin for my toes Ah, just enjoy that nice half forward fold. And then I'm going to lift the palms to stick to the slippery tile. You can do that if you want or not. <laughs> I'm bringing my front foot back to meet the back foot, bringing weight onto the hands, pressing the heart into the center of the earth, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, pushing into those heels. Turn just a little bit and bending the right, pushing into the left, bending the left, pushing into the right, and again pushing into the left, and into the right, and into the left, and into the right, pushing into both heels, tipping that tailbone again, pressing the heart toward the earth. And I'm going to bend the elbows, swinging the body forward, keeping those legs together, sliding those feet back a little bit, and letting the belly just drop, lifting the eyes and chest, making sure not to collapse in the shoulders, 
protecting the low back with the butt tucks, keeping those feet together, and just really enjoying a stretch through the front of the body. Ah, add some tongue stretch, letting that belly just sag and really stretch. Look over the left, getting a nice stretch through the right. Looking over the right shoulder, getting a nice extra stretch through the left. And then back to center, lifting those hips, pushing back into the heels again. Tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. And swinging that left foot forward into a nice deep lunge. Ah, enjoying a little bounce there. Don't bounce if you don't like bouncing. And I'm going to step forward with that back foot. And do a forward fold, letting the head and neck go, relaxing the shoulders, and just rolling up slowly, pushing from the bottoms of the feet. Coming back to front and center. And then I'm going to step back with the right foot into a moderate lunge again. Pulling the back hip forward, forward hip back. Pushing into that back heel. Checking that the front knee is in crunching past the front toes. Tucking the tailbone under a little bit. Looking for that nice and long and strong supported line through the center. Giving the knees a little... A little tap, a little more prepared for it this time. It's not going to lose some stagnation. Give that a little rub because that wants it. And I'm going to keep sliding that back foot out. Noticing my ongoing heel issue. Coming off of that heel and onto the toe. Adjusting as need be so that that's not too excruciating. Mm, bringing both hands down on either side of that front foot. Still pulling those hips onto the perpendicular line a little bit. Enjoying that nice deep lunge and then straightening that front leg. Still pulling the hips onto the perpendicular line. Draping the upper body over the lower body. In a half forward fold, aiming my chin for my toes. Pushing again into that back heel. Supporting the body on either side of that front leg with the hands as need be. And for me, the stretch really comes in that pull in the hips. I'm pulling that front hip back and the back hip forward and releasing through the belly, releasing the chest, straping, my, aiming my chin for my toe. And then bringing weight onto those hands. I'm going to bring that front foot back to meet the back foot. Forgot to lick my palms, so they're slippery. It's all right. We're pushing the heart toward the center of the earth. Pushing the heels down, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. A nice stretch through the lower body. And wiggle those feet back a little bit and pull the upper body forward through the shoulders, keeping those legs together, letting the belly just drop. Ah, getting a nice stretch through the front of the body and then lifting those hips, pushing back again, tipping the tailbone under the back of the head, but swing that right foot forward for a nice deep lunge on the other side. And again, enjoying a little bounce there because I like bouncing. My little mini bounce right over there. I haven't been bouncing on, but I've been I've been thinking about it. It's not quite the same. <laughs> Stepping forward with the back foot. Back into a forward fold and hanging here. And push it from the bottoms of the feet in the center of the earth. Starting with tucking the tailbone under. And up nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Back to front and center. Mmm. Doing a little free arm swinging. I don't know what I'm going to do about this lighting, but one of these days it's going to get better. You'll see. Until the meantime, we'll just have to keep working on it. Just have to keep doing the best we can. Anyway, 
I hope you're remembering to do the best you can with what you got from where you are and love yourself a little bit more because you are worth it. Hope you're taking care of your body because it's the one thing you can't live without. <laughs> Don't forget we're all in this together. <sighs> I give you permission to sigh and move about the cabin. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao.